hello and welcome to another episode of Investigators of the Unknown. Tonight we are here in Cumberland, Rhode Island to investigate Bellevue Cemetery. There are many strange things that are said about this cemetery, like an old elderly man dressed in gray. Also moans and screams have been heard from this cemetery. And there are other strange phenomena that people say take place here. So we are here today to investigate it. So come along with us as we take our journey to the other side. Okay, so this cemetery that we're at used to be known as Cemetery Ashton, and we can't find the exact date that it was built, but it was built somewhere between the 1700s and the 1800s. And there's about 500 people buried here, and that's pretty much all the information that I could find on this place. But this crypt thing right here that I'm sitting on, it um, people used to take the dead bodies in the winter time and store them in here, and then they would remove them in the summertime, and then they would bury them during the summer. So, that's about all we know so far, so let's do this. All right, well, uh, it's now night. We're gonna start our investigation in this part of the cemetery. And, uh, but before we do, we would just like to announce that uh, we actually have a fan here with us tonight. Um, he's actually been emailing us, asking us if he could come along some point. So we brought him tonight. His name is Paulie. And also, we have the founder here uh, of the team, my wife, who's also here with us, Paula who's going to be joining us tonight on this investigation. So for once, all you fans at home finally get to see the founder of IOTU. All right, so this is Pauly, he's the fan. Thank you for joining us tonight. Thanks for having me. Thank you. And again, like I said, the founder of IOTU, my wife, Paula, she's also here with us. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Well, and what that does is if you hear anything, like a whisper or something, just let us know. Is there anyone here tonight? If so, uh, could you please make those lights on that device right there light up? You don't have to be afraid of any of these devices, they won't harm you. And we also came here out of respect, so we mean no disrespect, we're just here to find out your story. So if you can, if you're here, can you please make that light up for us? Are you okay with us being here? You mind us being here? If you would like for us to leave, could you light that device up, please? And all you gotta do is just light it up once if you want us to leave. If you like, we also have another device here that will allow you to speak to us and for us to hear you. There is someone here with us. Can you say something, please? Do you mind us being here? You know what I was just doing? That this cemetery, there's two people here, as they say, that go all the way back to 1700. And that would have meant that during the colonial times, the two languages were one of the most we spoke in the uh, in those times would have been English and French. She speaks in French. Para el fru franze, banjo. Para el fru franze, banjo. Thank you. 
Are there any children here? You don't have to be afraid of this device. Theory in the paranormal where they say lightning, the atmosphere and stuff, it can create paranormal to be honest. Alright, well, if there is anyone here, I'm guessing that you don't want to communicate with us, so we thank you for your time, and we're going to move on to another part of this cemetery. And we just ask that whatever is here to remain here. know at home what we see this is what we see what what's the cameraman turn off their night vision this is what we see right here <laughs> nothing it's completely pitch black unless we put on our flashlight we have to be really careful because there's broken headstones and baby headstones and tree stumps sticking all over the ground so. is there anyone here with us tonight if so can you please light that up also, too, I've got another device in my hand that will allow you to speak to us and we'll be able to hear you once when we play it back later. Which this would be called an EVP, an electronic voice phenomenon, which picks up what our ears can't hear. It is said that spirits talk in a white noise form and EVP records within a white noise form, so that is why it is said that we're able to pick up spirit voices hear you if you'd like to speak to us and you don't have to be afraid of the device Jen is holding and you also don't have to be afraid of this device in my hand none of these devices will hurt you so is there anyone here with us tonight if so do you have a name Are you okay with us being here? Well, how about this? If you like, maybe you uh, speak to just one of us, if one of us were to stay. I'm going to go around and I'm going to mention the names and you tell me which one you'd like to stay here and talk to you. We have Antonio over here with the blue shirt. Do you want to talk to him? Would you like to talk to Paula? Would you like to talk to Paulie? Would you like to talk to Jen? How about myself? Would you maybe like to talk to Manny? Out of the six names I just mentioned, which one would you like to talk to?
All right, well, we thank you for your time, and we're going to get going. This is one of the crypts. Jen and Manny is with our guests um, over just right behind this wall, actually. So you can see it's all made out of stones and concrete. It actually looks like some of this might even be limestone and granite, actually. See, like this is granite. See the crystals? It's granite right there. And these are right here actually good conductors for paranormal activity because it stated that residual energy, uh, that it can restore residual energy, which is, you know, something that basically replays itself back. It's a certain memory in time. It's like kind of putting your DVD player on loop. And, uh, and you just watch the same scene over and over again. So, me and the new cameraman here, Ant, uh, we're going to... Do our investigation here while Jen Manny and our guest Polly take the other place. It's really cold in here. Yes, it Anthony is. wasn't kidding. So they used to put dead bodies inside here? Yeah, it'd be cold. Is there somebody in here with us? There's so many inhalers. Can I make this device light up? Can I take a picture at the doorway again? Will you let me catch you again? Just went off. Did it? Yep. Was that a yes? Can you do that again for me? Mm -hmm. Is there anything in here with us? We've got a device right here that will allow you to speak to us. Do you mind us being here? Is there anybody in here, man or woman? to leave? Do you feel more comfortable if one of us leaves you to talk? If so, all you have to do is mention one of our names. His name is Ant, mine is Jerry. Who would you like to remain in here to talk to you? Are you a human spirit? What about an inhuman spirit? Maybe you left. Is it bothering you that we're in here? here with us? Yep. You still here with us? Yep. You still here with us? Yep. You still here with us? 
Yep. How come you don't want to talk to us? Are you a female or a male? Female for one one life. You mind me or anything in here? Can you say hello? Did you just say Anton or Ann? She said I did. So I want to. How can I help you? Would you like me to leave? Can you speak to your aunt? Do you like him better? Alright, well, how about this? I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna join the other guys. And I'll let you stay in here and speak to Grant. Uh, aunt. Is that okay? I'm going to let you speak to Anton. Alright, I'll be back. Are you going to be alright? Yeah. Alright. Alright, okay, he's leaving. He just left. Ask this question I've never asked before, but let's see if this works. I'm gonna ask you a question. Make the device light up once for yes, twice for no. Do you know that you're dead? Are you a child spirit? I think I already asked that. My friend Polly has a device that if you talk, he'll be able to hear you and he'll be able to tell us what you say. Can you say something to Polly? If you're still here with us, can you make this device light up once? Sounds like he's walking in front of this thing. Is that you? Are you still here with us? Yep. Thank you for answering me. Is that you? Are you still here with us? Yep. Thank you for answering me. Is that you? Are you still here with us? Yep. Thank you for answering me. Is that you? Are you still here with us? Yep. Thank you for answering me. Does it bother you when people come here? Would you like it if pet people left you alone? Okay. 
Did you leave again? Did you leave again? Did you leave again? Are you back in here with us? So are you making noise next to me? Okay, we're going to get going then, since you don't want to talk. Thank you for talking with us. Can you tell me your name? Are you a man? Female? Did you just say you can't hear me? What's your name? I'll do an easy one. What's your favorite color? Why did you want me to stay? Do you mind if, if Manny comes in? Ask if Manny can come in. Thank you. 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 Anyone here with us? Paul, oh, can you please take this go off, this device in my hand? You don't have to be afraid. Again, you don't have to be afraid of this device. It's just uh, so we can communicate and know that you're here. Can you make this go off, please? You like, I also got another device in this other hand of mine that'll allow you to talk to us so we can hear you when we play it back. Is there anyone here with us? Mind us being here?
there anyone here at all with us? If you like, Paul, he's also holding a device that will allow him to hear you if you speak into it. You don't have to be afraid of it. And we mean no disrespect. We came here out of respect and with good intentions just to try and communicate with someone and find out your story. Would you like for us to leave this spot? Smoking stone. Yeah, there's a lot of them around here. So you guys got anything? Do you we have any steps? The battery on the camera's gonna die. The battery on the camera's gonna die. Do you like Manny? That just say it close. The battery on the camera's gonna die. Do you like Manny? That just say it close. The battery on the camera's gonna die. Do you like Manny? That just say it close. The battery on the camera's gonna die. Do you like Manny? That just say it close. Just about everywhere we go, it always has this way. Hear too much of that? Guys, can we move over here? I don't know if it's me, or I swear I'll be seeing the shadow. What? Did you see it like when they moved, or? Like when we were all talking, I just looked up and I just want to just see the sun, just like, whew, right behind me as well. Did Paulie just see you walk by? Did you just walk by? Can I hold it? Said yes. Did it? I swear I heard that. Did you just say yes? I thought I heard something say yes. I'm not hallucinating. You're dead. That's right. Who is? <laughs> you, obviously. But he's new. Can I see the question? What did they say? Can you repeat what you just said? Would you like for Paulie to remain here to talk to you by himself? Would you like Paulie to talk to you by himself? That's his say, all right. So. Would you like Paulie to talk to you by himself? That's his say, all right. So. Would you like Paulie to talk to you by himself? That's his say, all right. So. Would you like Paulie to talk to you by himself? That's his say, all right? Hey, something wants you. Hey, what do I have? 
Anything. What do I have? Anything, that Anything you want. We'll be <laughs> over there. <coughs> you gonna be with him, Manny? Or yeah, I'll stay with him. I know, that's my problem every time I go on investigation. Get out. No. Is that what it said? No, it's just telling me to get out. Get out. No. Is that what it said? No, it's just telling me to get out. Get out. No. Is that what it said? No, it's just telling me to get out. Get out. No. Is that what it said? No, it's just telling me to get out. Like it yelled, get out. Just ask it why. Why do you want me to leave? Why do you want me to leave? Is it because I disrespected you? Would you like for me to leave? Could you give me an answer, please? Could ask it if it wants us all to leave. What? Ask her if it wants us all to leave. Would you like for all of us to leave? Is that just a little kid? Mm-hmm. Hold on. If you're really a little girl, that sounded like a girl, didn't it? Can you please give us an age? Abigail? Would you like for me to stay here by myself? Nah, right, we're gonna get going. Alright. We're leaving. Alright, well we just finished our investigation at the Bayou uh, Cemetery here in Columbus, Rhode Island. Uh, we had many experiences. Uh, each of us experienced something different. Why me and Aunt was in one of the crypts. Why Jen, Holly over here, our guest, and Manny was in the other one. Uh, we were getting some voices coming through. Uh, it even asked for Aunt to stay, so I left. I joined Jen and Manny. They were saying that they were getting some things, uh, what we used getting. Um, we were getting hits on the K2 meter. We, um, I took a photo, and I don't know if we caught it on film yet or not, um, but we did catch a photo. In a couple of photos, there was an orb, and then in the other photo, there was a uh, white light. I don't even know how to describe it. So, we'll put those, obviously, in the video. So. But I want to know how your first experience yes. was. What was your first experience? Well, I can always say I never believed in none of this until I saw it from my own two eyes. Well, well, me, Jenny, and Manny were in the crypt, and then took that picture, and I actually seen the shadow on her cell phone. That's when it hit me, like, wow. You know, and also where we were all standing back there, where I had this, this voice while we were standing to try to get more. Some, I was just randomly just looking straight ahead and I seen a shadow just like run right across. But, and I just like, whoa, what was that? So we all went to that section where some odd reason I must have did something wrong where they wanted me staying over there by myself because I asked if I wanted if they wanted me to stay there which they said yes 
then the device spoke to me saying well as while I was speaking to the device where the device said to me that it wanted me dead like folks do not play with the dead do not like I said I never believed none of that until I saw it with my own eyes that's all I gotta say Jeremiah thanks for the invite I'm willing thank to do this having... again Jen, thank you yeah. I'm willing thank to do this coming. again yes so we'll probably have you coming thank maybe you after much. tonight maybe we'll even bring on another one and start painting if you like I'll be ready I'll be ready so uh at first me and Jeremiah went into the first tomb over there and we asked a couple questions to ask for me to stay and for Jeremy to leave and then upon me talking to it he asked for Manny to come. So Manny came in, and then that's where it got a little bit freaky. He started, his name is Tom. We figured out his name is Tom. Um, he stood by the door a lot, and he was making weird noises like someone was throwing dirt inside the corner of where we were. It was a little freaky. Um, I never experienced nothing like it before, but I'm glad I did. Uh, we got a couple of K2 hits. Yep. Um, like Ant said, he, Tom was very fond of the door. Um, every time I asked Bo about the door, all he kept saying was the door, the door. Um, he did say, I'm there, or I'm here, one or the other. We asked where, he said the door. So we don't know exactly what he meant by it, because after I kept asking what about the door, are you at the door, he pretty much stopped talking to us. I don't know if I maybe ticked him off a little bit, constantly asking what about the door, what about the door. Um, but if it was him, he was an interesting person, need to say. Do you think well, it could have been the groundskeeper that they say haunts here? It could have been. I mean, we did hear, it, hear dirt moving around. Yeah. So it, it could be. But he's, for some reason, he's just fond of the door. Well, he might have been the one putting the bodies in and out of there and stuff. He might be the one that everybody sees walking around here. It might have been. That might have been who Paulie seen, the shadow, run by us. That could have been the really? groundskeeper. Um, could be possible. All in all, it was an interesting night. Um, it's Ant's actually second investigation coming along with the team with us. Our special guest, Paul. Oh, man, Paul. Non-believer tonight. Made him a believer. Yep. So, uh, hope you guys enjoy it. And, uh, don't want to sound corny, but on to the next.